All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to search with multiple criteria in a table. So something similar to VLOOKUP when you have to match multiple column results instead of just matching one. So let me show you what we have here. We have the shipping cost table. We have the origin and destination. And basically, we're getting different costs for shipping depending on the origin and destination. So for example, if we ship our package or whatever it is that we send from Chicago to Dallas, we're looking at the cost that's right here, $367 and some change. So we're going to use those to get the price here. So we have from to, so we're gonna want to get the cost for shipment right here. And we'll do this using the get function. First of all, we need to, in this case, get the cost to ship from New York to Vegas. So if I go here, let's just find the cost really quickly here. So I'm gonna add a filter here. We'll do this. So that's pretty much what we should be getting. Let me just paste this to the side so we can see what it is. And then I'm going to unfilter this. Here we go. That gets us back to our data set. So to do this with the get function, first of all, we need to filter by origin and destination. So the way that our criteria table needs to look like it needs to be something that's looking like let me get there like this so origin new york destination vegas so if we did our d get function i'm going to set the database table to be this right here so command shift right down f4 to lock the table comma and then the field i want to get from this database so the information i'm getting from is from this column called coast so that's that comma and then i need the criteria so my criteria is going to be this so if this works well we should get that number there it is to get this to work in a table like this one, we need to somehow make this criteria not be a range like this, but be an array. So to create an array like this, the way you need to structure that array, so let me just put that array right here. I'm gonna do equal sign and do curly brackets. And in this curly brackets, the first one is gonna be origin comma and after comma it's going to be destination and then semicolon to go to the next row and then in the next row it's going to be new york comma and the next city so if i use this and hit enter you'll see that it will output this in our spreadsheet. So now if I take this, copy that exactly like that, and just move it to this formula instead of this range, paste, that should still return the results. Okay, so now that we got this down, I'm gonna delete it and go back to my shipment spreadsheet and get the cost for all of the shipments. So let's start with this first one. So I'm gonna start equals d get open parentheses, then I need the table. So I'm going to go to here, select the table, including the labels on top. So command shift right down F4 to lock the table comma from this table, I would like the column coast comma, and then I need to do the array. So the array I'm filtering by this origin and destination columns. So I'm going to start my curly brackets here. I'm going to close parentheses before I forget for this dget function. Go back here and start typing origin. That's the first one. And then comma and then destination. You want to make sure you don't mistype this and it has to match exactly what the column names are here. And then semicolon. And now I have to provide the origin I'm looking for. So this is where I'm going to go back to my shipment tab 
And the origin, that's the first one in this list, that's gonna go after the semicolon is gonna be this, and then comma, and destination is gonna be this cell. And if I hit enter, that should get me the coast. And now I can drag this down and get the coast for all of these. So for example, if you go and check what's the rate from Chicago to Los Angeles, it should be this 584 33. So let's go check this. Create filters. So we'll do Los Angeles 584.33. That's exactly what we're getting here. I'm going to remove this filter right there. So there we go. So that's our multiple criteria example. If you wanted the third criteria, all you have to do is do a comma here after destination and type the column and then do a comma after the last one and also point to the cell that should match the value in that column. So I want to take this to the next level and just categorize this coasts. So I want to have another column here that will say high value, mid value, low value, something like that. So I'll just say category. And I'm going to go ahead and create that table. Let me just quickly check what's the highest number here. So I can do that using max function. As you can see about 1500. That's the top. I'm going to create a new tab here and call this category. And in here, I'll create a few categories. So from zero to 500, I'll say low value. From 501 through 1000, mid value. One thousand and one through two thousand, I'll do a high value. So let me get this done. So I'm going to go back to my shipment table. So here I need to basically look at this coast number and then from this table. And since that's going to be a table, we need some names for this columns, something like this. So I'll get my dget function. And here the database is going to be this category table right here. We're going to lock with function f4, comma, and then I'm going to do the column I want. So name is the field comma again, and then do an array and close parentheses. In here, we're going to do from and to columns, from and to columns. And basically, let's say our number is 300. So if my number was 300, I would say that the from should be less than 300, and comma, and the two should be greater than 300. So if I did something like this, see, I would get low value because 300 is basically when it's matching those two, it's going to end up in this range. So it's lower than this and higher than this. And it ends up being in that and it's a low value. So in my case, instead of having 300 here, though, we need to use this number over here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a little concatenation. I'm going to delete that 300 and do an ampersand and point to this cell and then remove this 300 and do an ampersand and point to that cell again. So that way we can just dynamically pull the coast from that thing on the left. And that categorizes that as a high value. Now we would probably want to do less than or equal to and greater than or equal to here just to include that upper and lower ranges. So if it was actually zero, that would still go under low value. And it was actually 500, it would go under still low value. And then if I drag this down, 
it should just categorize all of them. See, that's mid, that's low, that's high. So I was basically just doing this to show you that you can also do this less than, greater than, and this type of matches if you needed to as well, instead of just doing the value itself. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.